Hi everyone, this is Emily from 3x3 Insights and welcome back to another episode of Retail Untapped. Developments in the cannabis industry are on the minds of beverage alcohol brands and retailers. In this episode, we're distilling important insights and covering legislative updates in key states for all of our retail partners. According to the Pew Research Center, 62% of Americans, including 74% of millennials, support legalizing marijuana. So, it should come as no surprise that recreational usage is now legal in 10 states plus Washington, D.C., with more on the way in the next few years. But the real question on everyone's minds in the beverage alcohol industry is, how will cannabis legalization affect sales of beer, wine, and spirits? Well, the initial research is mixed. One widely cited study by the Distilled Spirits Council looked at sales data in the three states with the longest standing recreational usage, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington, and found no effect on alcohol sales. Some industry professionals even welcome legalization, as evidenced by new events like the Weed and Wine Symposium and proposals for new joint retail licenses. On the other hand, a University of Connecticut study from late 2018 found that alcohol sales actually decreased by over 10% in certain medical marijuana states. And another study by New Frontier Data found that nearly 45% of adult cannabis consumers in legal states expect to replace some of their drinking with recreational use. In all likelihood, the effect on beer, wine, and spirits remains inconclusive. Will weed and wine coexist as complementary products or fight for share of the consumer's wallet? We'll have to wait until legalization is more widespread and can be properly studied. For now, let's talk about where things stand in a few key states. In New York, Governor Andrew Cuomo has stated that he will push to legalize recreational marijuana this year. Currently, the state is working to expand its dispensary system and New York police officers have replaced arrests with tickets for public usage. In Massachusetts, Voters approved legalization in November 2016. At the filming of this episode, about 15 dispensaries were operating in the state. At the end of April, state marijuana regulators signed off on plans for home delivery of cannabis. In New Jersey, a vote in the state Senate to legalize marijuana was postponed on March 25th. However, Governor Murphy is intent on pushing legalization through. In Connecticut, the number of medical marijuana dispensaries doubled in December 2018 when nine new licenses were approved. More importantly, two separate state committees recently approved licensing for growers, manufacturers, and retailers. Colorado has some of the most experience with the legalized market, though laws continue to change. A bill allowing delivery, for example, was recently introduced in the House. Adult use sales reached $1.3 billion in 2018 and are projected to hit $2.1 billion by 2022. That's it for this episode. To prepare your business for the changes ahead, go to 3x3insights.com and join the fastest growing network of independent liquor store owners. We'll see you next time.